Greetings chat, I am the Mexican Conquistador, a uh, fellow YouTuber about medieval stuff. Uh, the only difference between your channel and I, uh, between the subscribers of course, is the fact that uh, I center in the Hispanic world because I am a natively Mexican and I speak Spanish. Uh, I basically do exactly the same as you, but I try to do it for those who do not speak English or other languages like Russian in which the medieval community is very rich. Uh, I will start by asking you that if you like my content, you give me a shout out because it would really make a, the difference. And having said all that, I think this is the time to begin our actual weapon animations. To explain succinctly what I am doing, I will be having first the light combo attacks, the charged heavy attacks, and then I will go for the heavy attack combo. This is in the spirit of basically Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Demon Souls, and of course now Elden Ring's style combos, in which you of course have some light attacks, heavy attacks, and a charged heavy attack. I begin with the dagger, and I do make some conscious mistakes, like putting the shield away. Why do I do that? Well, because I believe that if it's going to be a video game, there should be also opportunities and there should be also openings in such a way that enemies can get inside. I have had real combats with shields and let me tell you, if you are a proficient user of a shield, nothing will get passed through that shield. Nothing. So that would not make good game mechanics, I would say. When I use bucklers, I do integrate the uh, continuous block mechanic because bucklers function in a rather different way than other shields especially in the blood souls community you can see that bucklers are not designed to block they're rather designed to parry and yes that's exactly how bucklers were used historically nonetheless the technique also implies that you should continuously block in front of you as written in the Fechtbuch von Walpurgis and so I wanted to make different animations for uh, the normal kite shield, and then the buckler. My reasoning behind this uh, exclusive buckler um, moveset is that uh, in Elden Ring we have the opportunity to alter our moveset when you equip two weapons of the same type. So I believe that you could do the same if you equipped a buckler. Equipping a buckler would automatically alter the moveset with whatever weapon that is compatible with the buckler you have equipped. I have an arming's worth, that is what historically was used uh, for self-defense. The dagger, simply because it's very easy to implement. And then, at the end, I do implement a zweihander technique, half's worthing technique, and you possess the buckler in the left hand. I do believe that this could be attained uh, much like uh, the aforementioned mechanic, having the Zweihander equipped with the buckler and equipping it in two hands would automatically make you go into a half swording moveset that would of course reduce the amount of reach that you have but would allow you to make more careful and calculated decisions with a lot of shorter cuts and precise thirsting. I would also like to gently disagree with you Shad about the blocking subject. You say that we should always be blocking and I understand how it works in games like Hellish Quart. It works very well. But I do believe that we should have integrated a both passive blocking and active blocking. Something very similar to World of Warcraft's mechanics in which shields add a very radical amount of armor. And on top of that, it allows you to actually block better. I like the active blocking in a lot of games like Dark Souls and uh, games like Mountain Blade, uh, be it Bannerlord or Warband or some of the prehistoric ones. The active blocking I find to be a very engaging um, mechanic in gaming. So whilst I understand where you're coming from for the blocking mechanics, I would propose that we would have both passive and active blocking. Because if you see, Many of the animations that I'm making right now could passively block a lot of blows, but not all of them, because I am not seeking the blade of my enemy. I am just seeking to protect my body 
well, maximizing the amount of armor that this piece of wood can block. That does seem reasonable, but I would advise against the mechanic of active blocking being just utterly replaced by passive blocking. Okay, so I'm aware my performance is not precisely state of the art when it comes to swordsmanship, but uh, it's what I have. It's what I know what how to do. Uh, I have ha I've had no master because there are very few people who actually know how to use a, a stick here in Mexico. Nobody actually likes. Um, well, I, 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 no, many people like, but no, not many people know of uh, Hima or European historical European martial, martial arts. And like uh, I'm trying to uh, get people to know them here in Mexico, in, in general, uh, Latin America. As the grubby little lawyer that I am, I know my tricks. So I am, I'm gonna uh, make a preemptive uh, measure right now, right here. I, uh, Juan Enrique Artonabascal, give full permission to Shadiversity, or well, the, the man who goes by the alias Shadiversity, to use uh, all the uh, audiovisual material that is displayed in this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you liked it, and I hope that I got something new into the table. Maybe an argument, maybe an idea, maybe something you, that you like. If not, well, roast me. It is what it is. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in, a, in the next one.